Hi guys, today I am gonna make it a little bit quicker because I wanna tackle one question that I get answered all the time ever since I started reviewing Huawei devices. And the question is Huawei P8 or G8? First of all, just a little bit something about the devices first. In terms of price, they're actually quite similar, around 300-350 euros, at least here in Germany. But the main difference here is the size. Because the P8 is kind of still their flagship for a regular sized phone with 5.2 inches. The G8 is kind of a more premium mid-ranger on the phablet side with 5.5 inches. So this already would make a big impact on my decision and then I would choose the smaller, more compact device, which actually is also built a little bit better not really much, but because the G8 has been done really, really well, great design, but it's a little bit more on the boxy and bulky side, even for a 5.5 inch, but both have been executed very well. It's just because of the size why I would prefer the P8. Now, in terms of display, I would choose the G8 because it has one of the best 1080p displays I've ever seen. Really clear picture, really sharp, vibrant, great color accuracy and all that. But the P8 does this all very well as well, just not quite on the high level of the G8, but you can't go wrong with either one. Now, the sound. That is the one thing where I would choose the P8 again, because it was just loud, a little bit clearer and a little bit richer. The G8 just wasn't quite loud enough all the time, but overall it would be okay. Definitely no deal breaker, but the P8 would win that. The performance is the biggest difference for me, the biggest choosing factor, because here I would choose the P8 for sure. With the Kirin 930, it just performed way better. It was overall more consistent, more lag free, maybe not always super smooth, but it just was well more matured in terms of performance. The G8 with the Snapdragon 616 always felt a little bit more on the stuttery, laggy side, even though I've heard from a few comments that with the latest updates, this seems to have improved. But since I've reviewed quite a few 600 series devices, so far and none of them really did impress me besides maybe the 617 and the A9 from the HTC I still would definitely choose the P8 now in terms of battery life here the G8 wins hands down because it was one of the best battery performers I've seen in the last year with about five and a half six hours of screen on time over the course of even one or two days it was a really long lasting machine really great but the P8 would get me through a day quite easily with about four four and a half hours of screen on time I don't see this as an issue, but of course the winner here would be this one. In terms of software, they are very, very similar, actually pretty much the same, so I won't really choose either one. Both should get Marshmallow quite soon, I think the P8 maybe a little bit earlier, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the last thing would be the camera, and here is where I would give the win ever so slightly again to the P8. Pictures are a little bit sharper, autofocus worked a little bit better. Still okay on the G8, no problem here at all, but the video quality is where I don't seem both to be that great because of the missing autofocus for some reason that I didn't see on any Huawei device except of the Mate 8 that I just reviewed. So if I would have to choose in the end, I would definitely go for the P8. It's just more comfortable in my hand because of the size. It has still a very beautiful screen, the slightly better sound, the better performance, which is important for me, and the slightly better camera, even though that's not so important for me. And then the rest with the battery, the software is still on a very good level. Now, the G8 is something where I have always a little bit of a harder time recommending it, mostly due to the laggy performance and stuttery performance that just did turn me down a little bit. Now, if that really improved with the latest updates, then I take back my opinion and say, definitely a nice phone if you want something of Huawei, but maybe want something a little bit bigger. Now, one question though is to ask maybe, and this I will maybe answer, will be able to answer in about two weeks, G8 or 5X from Huawei, or from Honor to be precise, because I will be getting that maybe sometime next week. These are pretty much the same device, just that the one is from the slightly smaller daughter company, Honor. At least here in Germany, they separate them. It's not Huawei Honor, it's just Honor. And this would be a really close fight. And maybe if I think the 5X is good enough, I will ask Huawei once again to get the G8 to, with the latest update so I can make a head-to-head -head comparison. So if you want this head-to-head -head comparison with actually devices in hand for me to see the differences, then leave me a like and leave me a comment because then I could be trying to get that done. Other than that, I hope it helped. Like I said, I would choose the P8, but that's a personal preference. If you want something a little bit bigger and maybe don't need the best performance out there, the G8 is still a good chance, but keep in mind the 5X is around the corner with a nicer price tag. So 
this was it. If you liked it, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, maybe more of these versus videos where I maybe don't have the device on hand but can tell you the differences here in a quick recap, leave it a like, subscribe, and until next time, I see you. Bye.